welcome, welcome to Sam Does Van Life. I hope John Oliver doesn't sue me for that. So I'd love to tell you about what I've been doing for the last couple months, but first I want to explain why I stopped making videos. And it's not so much that I stopped making videos, I just stopped publishing them. I was still filming, not super frequently in the beginning. I did need, I did need a break. But at the time it was taking me like over a week of solid full days of editing just to get a video out. I was like losing my mind. I had some gear issues and I know gear isn't like the answer, but if your program keeps crashing and you keep getting set back because everything's lost in that time frame, and you can't transfer files because they're too big so you have to cut them up into five minute increments raw before you've gone through them because that's what the editor is supposed to do and send them to get to the editor plus like the learning curve and being slow with the editor trying to take on way too much too fast like I really love those explainer videos but my god do they take a long time. I gave myself an unrealistic timeline of one video a week and the reason that's unrealistic in the beginning and I wish people would say this because one of the things they don't tell you is to be a beginner and to accept that it's going to take you a long time to do this because of that don't give yourself unrealistic expectations right off the bat like one video a week. If you're brand new at this and filming and editing and blah blah blah, you know, plus the social media, the publishing, the tag words, the description, you got to go find the music online, make sure you're not going to get sued. That is a lot of stuff at the beginning to be learning and trying to put out one video a week while making the video. I really wish somewhere in any of those YouTube videos about making a YouTube channel that I watched and I watched like hundreds, maybe not hundreds, but a lot. I really wish somebody would have said in the beginning, you are not going to be able to put out one video a week or you may not maybe some people can but plan to not and don't put that kind of pressure on yourself because I decided that if that's what everybody's telling me all these successful people like it must be good advice I'm, I'm gonna do that that is what I will do and I tried so hard to make that happen <laughs> and I failed I definitely failed at putting out one a week but my god I was trying so hard to get one out every Thursday Tuesday Thursday I don't remember. And that's unrealistic. What they should say is just make videos. Publish when you can. For the first 10 or 20 videos, you're not gonna know what the hell you're doing. So just do it and publish it when it's done. Once you've got a few down and you're starting to get the starting, starting to get the hang of things, then try putting one out every, let's say two weeks. If you're putting one out faster than that, try to put out one every week. Start it at zero expectation to see where you are and then give yourself a realistic timeline that fits where you're at. But my biggest annoyance with like all the research I've done is that nobody says that. They just tell you one a week. One a week is great. One a week is what you aspire to. But you do not start at one a week like I tried to because I burned the hell out and was like, nope, I'm done for a while. Like, I can't do this right now. I'm like going to lose my mind. I'm failing people. I'm failing myself. I said I was gonna do this. I will do this. And then I wasn't and it was nuts. Like I did nothing else. <laughs> you can ask the person I was staying with. You can ask Brandon. I did nothing else but try to put these videos out on time. And there is no way that's a sustainable way to function. So I quit, I quit, I temporarily quit. I did not quit. I never intended to quit, but I intended on taking a break and that's what I did. Very over dramatically, I told no one and said nothing about it because at that point in time, I was just done with all of it and I should have, but I needed the break. I'm sorry, I did not say anything about taking some time off and like sorting my stuff out, but that's, that's where I was when I just like stopped all of it. I just could not maintain that level of insanity anymore. It was way too much, so I stopped temporarily. That was the key point that nobody knew. I had always intended on coming back. And you know what? Once I decompressed a bit, I went back to work, started making some money, upgraded a few things. And then when I didn't want to smash my iPad over my knee, keep in mind, I don't have a computer anymore. I had a laptop. It broke, like the screen broke. It wasn't worth getting fixed. And my iPad was so outdated. I couldn't justify getting a new computer because I knew I was gonna need to upgrade the iPad. So then I remained computerless, which was fine until the apps I needed to do the things I was doing were not working anymore. And that's when I started to have major issues. So I upgraded a few things and it really didn't take long to get back into it because I had stuff that was ready to be edited. Like I had a whole video, well, I had a couple whole videos ready to be edited, but I couldn't do anything with them. Some of the videos were stuck. 
on my hard drive. Some of them were actually on my iPad, which is cool, just waiting, because I filmed them, <laughs> and I just was like, no, I'm done. And I started editing them. And then one day, I started filming again, and then I started editing that one. And then I started looking into filming techniques again, and composition, and went to see if there's any more new information about vlogging, because I'm constantly looking this stuff up, usually. I looked at lens kits, I looked at cameras, I got right back into it. I hate blaming it on the gear, because it feels like a cop-out, and I was definitely burnt out, and I definitely needed the break, but the gear was absolutely part of it, and I was... I was at the end of my rope <laughs> with the video editing. You know, I could go into a big story about the break, about where I've been, but I think I can do you one better. I think I can show you, because like I said, I never stopped filming. I just stopped publishing. Now that I can edit again, I've actually got a couple videos ready to go, and quite a few more ready to be edited. And before I even realized it, with a couple filler videos, this actually being one of them, the kind of like, where the hell have you been video, before I realized it, I had nine videos waiting in line, in varying degrees of completion. And this particular video was really important because it's a bridge between the finished ones and where I left off. So I didn't feel right just starting to publish again. I felt like I owed everybody an explanation. And, and really, that's also me coming to terms with how crappy I felt at the time about it. You know what? I approached it wrong, and I don't know how else I could have even approached it with what I knew at the time, but that's okay. Like, that's part of the learning experience. I learned that I approached the learning wrong. Now, I will approach the learning in a better way. So, I wish I didn't have to burn out and like drop off the map for a while to, to learn that lesson, but I can be kind of thick in the head sometimes, and sometimes, <laughs> sometimes I need the hard lesson to really, really get it home, you know? But you know what? That's all in the past. I had my fall, I did some things. Some of those things you're actually gonna be able to, to find out about soon. Work came up, also something you're gonna be able to find out about soon. Christmas, that came up. Like I've started the ball rolling again, so I'm really excited. I'm really excited. This video is literally nothing else but me explaining where the hell I've been, trying to apologize for dropping off the face of the earth, and hoping that I haven't disrespected you guys too much by not sharing this sooner, because I really did not mean to just drop off the face of the earth like that, and I I don't think that was uh, also the right way to approach it, and I, I just wanted to let you know that I'm sorry. I've got a few new toys, I've upgraded a few things, and I'm, I'm pretty excited to be filming again. I've even got the camera flipped the other way. I know, I do not have the selfie one on. I'm doing what I did with the GoPro and I'm broadcasting it to my iPad, which you can't see is sitting right here. <laughs> and I'm doing a really good job not looking at it too. I'm getting much better at looking at the lens. Yeah, I see you in there. What's up? Much better job at looking at the lens. I'm not afraid of the lens anymore. I'm not like super, super, super comfortable. It was hard to wrap my head around talking to inanimate object, kind of, you know, it's a lens, it's looking at you, but you can't look at it kind of a thing and talk to it like it's a person, like your buddy, you know, like you talk to Jim over here. Hi, Jim. What's up? There's no Jim. You know what I'm saying? It took me a bit to get that down too. And again, not great at it by any means, but much better than I was, I'm a lot more comfortable with the camera. Long story short, I'm going to say I'm back at it. What I'm not going to say is that I'm going to put out a video a week. If I happen to put out a video a week, fantastic. But I'm not going to say I'm putting out a video a week because that's how I got in the situation I was in in the fall. <laughs> I work 14 hours a day in this truck, <laughs> like right here, and I'm not going to put that kind of pressure on myself because I will try very hard to achieve that while I'm at work because work is my my number one priority, especially as my job. I'm a medic, first aider, and I always have to have my primary focus on that. So I've decided that at least while I'm working, I'm not going to promise a video every week. I'm not going to promise a video every two weeks either. I'm not going to promise anything like that. The one thing I am going to promise you though, is that I'm going to be making videos as regularly as I can get them out. It helps me not bite off more than I can chew like I did before, because work has to be the number one priority while I'm at work. But it also means that as soon as I get one finished, I'm starting the next one. As soon as I get that finished, I'm starting the next one. So I will be constantly working at making more videos. So there's not gonna be any promised published dates, at least not while I'm working. And if you're interested to find out where, you can go to my Instagram or Facebook account because both of those I'm gonna have rocking again. 
very soon. So that's it. This video is an apology. It was a bit of a recap, but it's also a bit of an introduction to the next series of videos. They're more vlog style, like the unfinished van life one and two. And the reason is, is that I found a system and I've been able to implement it again and again. So yay, I found a system that I can practice for video making. So the next bunch of videos are going to be more, more vlog style because I can get those out a little faster, but that's how I'm going to keep filming. So it's a little different change of pace. Um, and we're going to go with that from here on out while well, I'm working at least until I get back to uh, building the van and see where it goes. My biggest plan is that there is no plan and that's okay. And to just keep filming. So that's what I'm going to do. Just keep filming. <laughs> when your camera is suction mounted to the window and then like your boss comes rolling up and you're like backseat. <laughs> <laughs> slight camera angle change like slightly but anyways thank you for coming back if you're a current subscriber welcome if you're a new subscriber if it's your first time watching the channel i'm sorry that this is the first video you had to see but please expect to see more more of the traveling worker life more of the traveling nomad life alternate forms of nomad working life because it's not all digital kudos and hats off to the digital nomads that's hard. I looked into it. It would take me a long time to build up skills to be able to do that and make any kind of money. But this is still traveling nomad life. So maybe you'll get some ideas. Maybe you didn't realize some of the skills that you have already is something that you can take on the road. Who knows? Maybe you're just here to watch the shenanigans and the adventures and, and the insanity. <laughs> Whatever reason you're here, I'm really happy to have you. Sorry I haven't been around and I'm excited to be back and putting stuff online. I'm really excited about that. So with that, I'm out. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you like this channel, hit the subscribe button. If you really like this channel, hit that little bell and get notified whenever there's a new video. And if you have any questions or comments about anything you've seen so far on this channel or in this video, please leave your comments in the comment section below. And I promise, I promise, this is the promise I'll make. I promise I will get back to them very soon. When this video is published, I'm going back and I'm answering comments. I'm doing it. I have no excuses. I have the time. I'm in the truck. So thanks for coming out. Happy vanning. If you're out vanning, you hardcore winter van dwellers, happy nomad life for those who are finding other nomadic ways of living. And you know what? For the rest of you, just have a good day. I'll see you soon. Because it feels like a cop out. I work 14 hours a day. <laughs> it's own work. <clears throat> and so I'm going to stick with that. I was looking. There's a learning curve that you don't even realize. And then it's like, oh, good. I... It's been fun. <laughs>